Hi everybody, this is Silas and I'm going to show you how to put the rubber bands on the Lego Falcon pistol. So we'll start with the trigger. It is just a rubber band put through that hole and you're going to connect both sides of that rubber band to this ball. And the trigger is forward a lot, so pull it back and let it go, have it work itself out. And it'll kind of get in a nice spot right there. And that's the trigger. Now, uh, let's work on the magazine home. I'll, I'll take it apart. So, if you've been, if you're here because you bought a mock, then you have a follower in here that's just dorking around. What you do is you can take this panel, a follower come out, and you take this panel, open it up, slip a rubber band right in there, and then close it right back up. Like that. So you should just have a rubber band right there. And now you take this top part of the panel and slip it off. And you go like this and loop it right around like that. So it should be just like that. And then you get your follower and put the rubber band on your follower, on the ball of the follower. And you slip it in. And then you connect this, this pan. And you should have a follower that pushes this way to, towards the top. And that's the follower. And now I'll show you the loader. I'll remove it. In the instructions of the mock, you had this piece. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the prototype, so the colors vary a little bit, but it's the, the same pieces. So you have this one by nine, this uh, lift arm. You get your rubber band and double it. Let me redo that. There we go. Like that. Uh, there's the camera. So it's all doubled up, and then you take one end of the rubber band. Oh, it's tying itself up. You take one end of the rubber band and push it through. Oh my gosh, this rubber band, it's twisting. So, like that, and then you take and get it through. And then, there you go, like that. You have two little, two little ends of the rubber band. And in your gun, you should have an axle with two bushings on them. Slip this through under the slide like that, and then wrap the rubber bands right around in the little space uh, between the bushing and the little lift arm. And to tighten those up since they're pretty loose around the axle, I push the slide like that, and then I squish the bushings like that and that keeps it tight. And now for the bolt. This is, this is the fun one. So I'll remove everything. Take off the rubber band.
There we go. All right. So if you're following the instructions, you should have your slide just in there like this. It should just be like that. And what you do, you take this back part off. So it's just the rail. And you get your rubber band to provide power to the bolt and get this yellow bushing inside the instructions. I had it sitting inside there. Thought I'd throw a curveball for everybody. <laughs> so right there, you slip your rubber band through the bushing. And then this is the bottom of your slide. Flip it over and uh, you put the rubber bands. I'll put them through the holes and show you what you have to do. There we go. There's one. All right, so it should be like that. These raised one by eights, uh, your rubber bands should be pointing away from those towards the end of this. And now for your gun, remove this L piece and same on the other side. So you're left with just the pins. And get your slide and slide it in through the front like that. And while it's like that, uh, get these L pieces and grab the rubber band and put it on the little little ball like that so get it on the ball and put the ball put the piece in there and for the second one it's usually pulled in a bit so I usually get an axle and just kind of work it out and there we go, I got it. So, like that. And you get this. It should be just like that. And then put it right on there. And then put the back piece back on. And your whole your whole Falcon pistol should be all ready to fire. Now, let me get a bullet and show you how to reload the stuff. Let's see. So, you should go like that. And let me get a better angle. So you're gonna go like that and get your uh, one by threes, these are blue, you'll get yellow ones. If you bought the mock, you just set them in there and push it right in, you should click right in. And then right there. And sometimes the, the pieces, they get stuck on these one by fours. What I do is I kind of bring this to the bottom and then let it go. And now you just pull it back until you hear it click. Like that. And then you, uh, you push it. And then you're ready to shoot stuff. That's how it works. And that's, that's how you put the rubber bands on it. So this one, it can be a smaller rubber band. This one, you want it to be smaller but stretch far and this one you want to just be big not too big 
big and strong because that's the main power of the firing. And this one, maybe whatever, whatever works. So thank you for watching. And if you bought the mock, thank you for buying that. I appreciate it and see ya.